Good morning children. Welcome to 7th standard English term 3 unit 2. In this session we are going to see the supplementary man overboard which was written by Vasanta Murthy. Okay children come let's see the story. Here Vasanta is the main character. Vasanta was on board a ship called SS Rajula. The name of the ship was SS Rajula. She was travelling to Singapore after her stay with her grandparents. She spent the day exploring the ship. Here exploring means travel through in order to learn about something. Exploring means travel through in order to learn about something. So Vasanta was on board a ship called SS Rajula. She was travelling to Singapore after her stay with her grandparents and she spent the day exploring the ship. The ship looked like a big house. There were furnished rooms and a swimming pool, a living room for indoor games and a library. The ship looked like a big house. There were furnished rooms and a swimming pool, a living room for indoor games and a library. The next day morning, the captain announced that they had received a message about a storm in the Indian Ocean. So most of the elders panicked and prayed to God. But Vasanta was excited about it. She remembered her class teacher telling them in a class about a big storm. The next day morning, the captain announced that they had received a message about a storm in the Indian Ocean. So most of the elders panicked and prayed to God. But Vasanta was excited about it. She remembered her class teacher telling them in a class about a big storm. Children, here the word panicked means fear. The teacher was on her way to Singapore due to the storm. The ship rocked to and fro. Everything in the cabins rolled up and down. So this incident which was told by her class teacher made her imagination run wild. So she thought it would be fun if the storm broke when they had lunch. It would be a merry-go-round to all of them sitting on the chairs. In the evening, a strong wind started blowing. The ship rocked to and fro. Huge waves were dashing against it. So Vasanta noticed a man vomiting over the rails and looked rather blue around the mouth. In the evening, a strong wind started blowing. The ship rocked to and fro. Huge waves were dashing against it. Vasanta noticed a man vomiting over the rails and looked rather blue around the mouth. A huge wave lashed the ship and the man tumbled over the railing into the wild sea. Vasanta shouted to save him. The captain of the ship heard this and sent the rescue team officers to save the man seeing through a pair of binoculars. Vasanta could not see what is happening as the boat was too far for Vasanta. But the captain was giving a running commentary to Vasanta. A huge wave lashed the ship and the man tumbled over the railing into the wild sea. So Vasanta shouted to save him. The captain of the ship heard this and sent the rescue team officers to save the man seeing through a pair of binoculars. So Vasanta could not see what is happening as the boat was too far for her. But the captain was giving a running commentary to Vasanta. The ship had dropped the anchor but was rising up and down. The two sailors caught hold of a rope. One of them tied the rope around his waist with the man between them. The sailors swam back to the lifeboats. The boat headed back to the ship. Then the ship's doctor was ready at the railing with two nurses and a stretcher. The man was given immediate attention to improve his condition. A nurse told Vasanta that he was saved and would regain consciousness after a few minutes. The ship's doctor was ready at the railing with two nurses and a stretcher. The man was given immediate attention to improve his condition. And a nurse told Vasanta that he was saved and would regain consciousness after a few minutes. Then the captain called Vasanta to his cabin and gifted her with a beautiful model of a ship. On it was inscribed, 
B.I.S.N. and Co.S.S. Rajula. Vasantha felt very happy and she hugged and kissed the captain. She was the happiest person on board that day. The captain called Vasantha to his cabin and gifted her with a beautiful model of a ship. On it was inscribed B.I.S.N. and Co.S.S. Rajula. Vasantha felt happy. She hugged and kissed the captain. She was the happiest person on board that day. Okay children, I hope you all have enjoyed this story, Man Overboard. Thank you. Now, let's see the complete the following statements. Everyone in the ship started to pray because dash. Everyone in the ship started to pray because they received a message about the formation of storm. The answer is, they received a message about the formation of storm. Vasantha's imagination ran wild because dash. Vasantha's imagination ran wild because she remembered her class teacher telling about a big storm. The answer is, she remembered her class teacher telling about a big storm. Everyone in the ship started to pray because they received a message about the formation of storm. Vasantha's imagination ran wild because she remembered her class teacher telling about a big storm. Vasantha made a lot of noise because dash. Vasantha made a lot of noise because a man tumbled over the railing into the wild sea. The answer is a man tumbled over the railing into the wild sea. Vasantha could not see the rescue operation because dash. Vasantha could not see the rescue operation because the boat was too far her to see what was happening. The answer is, the boat was too far her to see what was happening. The captain presented a gift to Vasantha because dash. The captain presented a gift to Vasantha because of her immediate action in saving a man. The answer is, of her immediate action in saving a man. Vasantha made a lot of noise because a man tumbled over the railing into the wild sea. Vasantha could not see the rescue operation because the boat was too far her to see what was happening. The captain presented a gift to Vasantha because of her immediate action in saving a man. Next, let's see the true or false. A man was vomiting over the rails of the ship. A man was vomiting over the rails of the ship. The answer is true. The name of the captain was S.S. Rajula. The name of the captain was S.S. Rajula. The answer is false because the name of the ship was S.S. Rajula. Third one, Vasantha was very much afraid of the storm. Vasantha was very much afraid of the storm. The answer is false. Fourth one, she was travelling to Bangalore. She was travelling to Bangalore. The answer is false because Vasantha was travelling to Singapore. And the last one, the ship looked like a big house. The ship looked like a big house. The answer is true. A man was vomiting over the rails of the ship. True. The name of the captain was S.S. Rajula. False. Vasantha was very much afraid of the storm. False. She was travelling to Bangalore. False. The ship looked like a big house. The answer is true. Next, let's see the answer the following. First question. What was there inside the ship? What was there inside the ship? The answer is. There were furnished rooms, a swimming pool, a room for indoor games and a library. What was there inside the ship? There were furnished rooms, a swimming pool, a room for indoor games and a library. Next question. What did the captain of the ship inform the passengers the next day? What did the captain of the ship inform the passengers the next day? The answer is. The captain informed the passengers that they had received a message that a storm was likely to form in the Indian Ocean. 
What did the captain of the ship inform the passengers the next day? The captain informed the passengers that they had received a message that a storm was likely to form in the Indian Ocean. Next, who was Vasantha's class teacher? Who was Vasantha's class teacher? The answer is Vasantha's class teacher was an English woman. Vasantha's class teacher was an English woman. Who was Vasantha's class teacher? Vasantha's class teacher was an English woman. Next question. What did her class teacher tell her students one day? What did her class teacher tell her students one day? The answer is Her class teacher told them that she was crossing the English Channel on her way to Singapore. Then there was a big storm near Gibraltar. Their ship rocked to and fro. Everything in the cabins rolled up and down. Even the heavy pianos went crashing against the walls. What did her class teacher tell her students one day? Her class teacher told them that she was crossing the English Channel on her way to Singapore. Then there was a big storm near Gibraltar. Their ship rocked to and fro. Everything in the cabins rolled up and down. Even the heavy pianos went crashing against the walls. Next, let's see the identify the character or speaker. Don't worry madam, it's only a warning. Don't worry madam, it's only a warning. Who said this line? Yes, the answer is a gentleman. A man fell into the sea, please save him. A man fell into the sea, please save him. Who said this line? Yes, the answer is Vasanta. Stop ship, drop anchor quick. Stop ship, drop anchor quick. Who said this line? Yes, captain of the ship. Next, he will have to be given artificial respiration and kept warm. He will have to be given artificial respiration and kept warm. Who said this line? Yes, the doctor. Wake up child. The answer is a sailor. Okay children. Now it's time for questions. First one. Who stood on the deck of SS Rajula? Second one. Whom did Vasanta wave to? Third one. How did Vasanta spend the day in the ship? How did Vasanta spend the day in the ship? Fourth one. Was Vasanta thrilled about the upcoming storm? Was Vasanta thrilled about the upcoming storm? Fifth one. Who was Vasanta's class teacher? Sixth question. How was the captain of the ship watching the rescue operation? How was the captain of the ship watching the rescue operation? And the last question is. What was inscribed on the model of the ship given as a present to Vasanta? What was inscribed on the model of the ship given as a present to Vasanta? Okay, 